It's gold and white. Oh, I really don't care what color the damn dress is anymore. It's also blue and black. No, stop, please. <sighs> Hello there, dress watchers. Welcome to Dressgate on D News with Trace and Julia. If somehow you were asleep all of yesterday and you missed it, the internet is a crazy, messed up, net neutral place where we watch llama drama and fight over stupid questions that shake the very fabric of our personal truth. Needless to say, it's really exciting. Firstly, what color the dress is can be debated. It doesn't really matter. But how we see the dress is way more interesting. It has nothing to do with the emotional trauma or color blindness, maybe a little bit to do with how our eyes work and what screen you're on, but mostly it's just the dumb human brain and how it processes stuff. Mm -hmm. We asked our in-house designer what he thought and he said white and gold. We freaked! Right, what color do you see? Blue. White and gold. You do not see blue. Yeah, it's white and gold. It's black. shadowy. You're lying. But it's not. The whole office freaked and our vice president, who is now refusing to talk to me, threatened to fire all of us for suggesting it was blue and black. Two of our video editors who work with color every day are fighting about it on Facebook at this very moment. What is going on? We can look at the same image on the same screen and see different things because of color perception. Light is a collection of waves and various wavelengths. And for humans anyway, visible ones are from 400 nanometers. Violet light. To 700 nanometers. Red light. The thing is, just because blue is always blue in nature. 445 nanometers. Color perception is subjective. You and I could look at the same blue thing, and we're going to see two completely different colors. And there is absolutely no way for us to tell whether your blue is the same as my blue, because you can't see with my brain and my eyes. Research published in Nature in 2009 found that color is subjective by looking at how chimps perceive it. They determined that our brain doesn't process color by default, but instead, once we're born, it learns to process it through experiences, which all are completely different. Our experiences might be different, but we're interpreting the same information. The interpretation is where the wires get crossed. When we look at something, our brain uses context clues to decode information. Your brain sucks in the background and the foreground and the highlights and the shadows, then calculates how it's going to display that image to your conscious mind. It does this really fast and everyone does it a little differently. The key is that first burst of light. We evolved under the sun, and sunlight can affect how our brain boxes interpret different colors. When looking at something, like a stupid dress, our subconscious chooses which colors are the primary and which colors are superfluous right away. The dress image could have a distinctly yellow tint or a distinctly blue tint, depending on how your brain processes the image. If your brain classifies the blue as a superfluous color when you first glance at it, you'll perceive a white and gold dress. Whereas if you classify the gold as superfluous, then you'll see a black and blue dress. Black and blue, it's obviously. Black and blue. You totally don't get to pick, though, which is why it's so damn frustrating. Once the brain decides something, it's very difficult for you to swap. One of our DNews peeps, Jared, says that he can see both colors of the dress. I don't buy it. And a number of people see a different thing on different screens or at different times. But commonly, once you see something one way, perceptual bias sets in and it's very difficult to switch. And that all depends on the first impression of the first time you see that image plus your experience experiences, and of course, it was kind of a crappy photo, so that influences photo. stuff too. And a lot of things can influence that impression. Our brains tend to use top-down processing when seeing patterns, and this is totally a story about patterns. We're going to use our past experiences and context clues from this image, of which there are very few, to determine the color we perceive. Your observations of reality are always subjective. There's literally no way for two people looking at the same picture to know exactly what the other person sees. But maybe, you know what, that's the great thing about Dressgate. People love to argue, it can be fun. But it was nice to argue about something that felt big, but really does not matter all that much. At the end of the day, it's just a dress, yo. But what color do you guys see? You can tell us down in the comments, you can tell us if you're sick about learning about this dress, and also, make sure that you watch this other video that talks all about how we actually perceive color. And make sure you subscribe for more D News. Thanks for watching. Blue and black, totally blue and black. Blue not and black. even a it's question. It's not even, not not even, even a question.